CloudStrike just had a very bad day, and so many IT departments around the world right now are having a hell of a time because of a giant outage. Uh, specifically, it's not a Windows outage like this article and many other stuff I've seen on Twitch. Really, all it is is CloudStrike is a security software that is loaded on a lot of big systems. They only have 29,000 customers, but 300 of the top Fortune 500 are CloudStrike customers. Also, a lot of government entities and point of sale systems are part of this. So your local grocery store might be seeing blue screens. Your government computers will probably be seeing blue screens and big companies will be seeing blue screens. Right now, I think it's uh, American, Delta, and United all were using CloudStrike. Uh, one of the funny posts I did see was uh, someone from Southwest, they're, they're kind of known for dated technology. <laughs> and they're like, hey, we're unaffected. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty funny. Also, uh, the people that are on CloudStrike, such as a lot of Elon Musk and his companies were on CloudStrike. Uh, they just deleted all of CloudStrike from all the systems and are moving away from it. And yeah, that's that's the right call for any IT admin or administrator or CTO out there. If you are on CloudStrike, I would obviously get rid of it and just say, hey, whatever the remaining subscription is for these devices on a yearly base, just chalk it up to, hey, lost lost time and just move on to immediately transition to something else. I've had something like this happen. It was roughly about 10 plus years ago. It was an Avast SMB product where a, a similar update also blue screened a bunch of systems at that business. As soon as that happened, I just immediately deleted it from everybody's devices and then moved to a different, you know, security piece of software. So, and that's really what it is. And you kind of have to have these centralized security softwares too. So don't think you can just run with standard windows in business. You need to know when your computers, you know, when your, your clients and users do something stupid on your systems. So you have to have something like this, uh, but obviously a lot of people will be moving away from CloudStrike. The official statement from CloudStrike and how to fix it is actually pretty straightforward. Uh, again, uh, you would just go in, look for this C0000291 sys file. Uh, that's going to be in the Windows folder, sys32, uh, or, and I think it's thir drivers, and it's in under the CloudStrike folder. Uh, now, anything with the 0409 timestamp is the problematic version. Anything with the timestamp 0527 or later is fine. So the fix is actually a little bit worse than been laid out here because a lot of times you do need to boot into safe mode as the computer itself will be not bootable from this update. Maybe maybe doing over the air updates that could blue screen computers probably not the best idea. Security people out there just just a, a thought. And uh, then if you do this and it does have BitLocker as well and you have any kind of encryption on that system that will probably trigger hey, hey your system's changed you got to re-enter your, your BitLocker key. So most of these big businesses will have to use like their Azure, Azure portal and, and grab the BitLocker key and then log in. So that's going to be a physical IT person sitting at that computer to fix it. Uh, you, you're not going to be probably able to, you might be able to do it over the phone to like a Bob or something on the other end. It's like, Hey, how do I fix this computer guy? Oh, God bless. That would just suck though. Uh, I could not imagine. Okay. You got to, Got to put it in safe mode, which safe mode's very difficult to get to these days. Uh, with Windows 11, you can't just hit F8. A lot of times you have to sit there and let it fail boot like two or three times before safe mode options are shown. Um, or maybe it does show it after it's failed two or three times, either way. But once you get in, this is the solution. And then uh, a couple workaround steps here. So that's, that's the big thing. You would just delete this one sys file and then go for it. Uh, and if you have AWS or servers, Windows Server specifically with this on, you'd have to worry about it. Uh, but otherwise, you should be fine. Um, most people overblew this. Again, it's just CloudStrike customers paying this fee. And, you know, most people like 
big, big companies are just going to move away from CloudStrike and, and just install something else that uh, doesn't blue screen their systems from an update. Uh, and that's all I have for you today. That's uh, I just want to make a short video just saying, hey, here's the situation. Don't overblow it. It's not all Windows systems. It's just Windows systems with CloudStrike loaded and CloudStrike customers, which is extensive because a lot of airlines, whoo, hopefully you don't have to travel anywhere in the next day or two because dang, that would suck.